Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sean Russelt and welcome to my Delphi programming series. So in this video we're going to be learning how to use frames and forms in Delphi. So here's our first form, let's call it... Oops, what did I do now? Let's call it home. Uh, we'll change the name to FRM home. So we have really learned how to use a different form. We used the uh, about box form in the previous video, but now we're going to be learning just how to use a normal PCL form. So this is our form 2. Let's name it. Um, let's leave it form 2. I don't, don't know what, we got, what we're going to be doing with this form really. Add a button. Let's go to form 2. Okay, so then we add form 2 to the users list, use unit, unit 2, then we'll basically we can say form 2 dot show, you can even change the form 2's color for instance, um, form 2 dot color colon equal, let can see how black, so form 2 dot caption colon equals um, this is the form where you will find a frame. Okay, so we compile now and click on a the button, then form 2 will display as you guys can see. And let's add a frame to the form. Let's first add Another form this is form three. Call us go to form three. We'll just say here uh, form three dot dot show. You don't have to see that an uh, error because um, unit three isn't in the users list. But if you compile, it that, that will actually ask us to add it. So it's now added, which is nice. My nose feels stuffed again. Anyway, let's say go to form 3 and close not and hide form if I am home. Okay, let's go add a frame. So, form is basically a whole different window in Alfie, but a frame is something a bit different. Uh, If I basically my piece is lagging. Oh, I have a freaking i7 then freezes like this. Yeah, I have an i7 um, laptop, 4 gigabytes graphics card, uh, 60 gigabytes RAM, so it's good. This is our frame. On the frame, you can just add something such as. Let's add a shape. Make this a and a square and a circle and a ellipsis. Oh, let's see. Look at that. Okay. Ooh. Anyway, this is basically our frame. Then we can go to frame 3 or form 2, and then in the components we add a frame, basically frames. Select frame 4, and as you guys can see, it basically displays the frame inside a form. You can also display it here. Frame, frame 4. Let's compile. There's form 2. And if we click on form 3, we have this coded form 3, have we? Not completely, at least. For the button. It's also the hide form 1. Dot hide. Oops, not called form 1 anymore. It's called FRM home. Oh. 
sorry, this is form 2 and then form 3. So now form 1 and 2 is hidden. Let's close these two forms. So now the form is closed, but the application is still running. As you guys can see, because we just closed the form um, 2 and 3, we didn't, we, didn't, we basically just closed it, we didn't close the application. So as you guys can see here at the task manager, uh, Where is it? Where is it? So I can't find now. Uh, well, okay, here, here it is. Basically, it's basically the project one.exe is still running, which is our app. So close it. And now we're back. To fix this, we basically just have to go to the form 2, to the events. And on close event is basically the code for the X button. So here we'll just write application dot terminate. And also on the form 3, we'll go to the on close, application not terminate, compile. And now, if we, for instance, close this form here, it will close the whole application. As you guys can see, it stops. This is basically just, I think we're basically done. Oh, I didn't hide the. Uh, Taskbar again. I'm sorry. Anyway, so this is basically how to use um, forms and frames in Delphi, and it's really useful to use forms and frames. I use it a lot in almost every every application I make. I use a form and a frame. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I actually don't know why I'm doing this. I just like doing it. It's like my ending in the video so bye <laughs> yeah